We are in Malawi actually, we are in the camp Zaleka where there is too many refugees What's up guys, thank you so much for coming through to watch this video I am a guy in Mani Nikaze and today I do have a story about this refugee camp called Zaleka in Malawi In 1996, Zaire, currently the Democratic Republic of Congo, experienced its first civilian war. Before that, I only heard about war from afar, far away from home, Burundi and Rwanda. We saw refugees in numbers, but I was not aware it will come soon to us and that Burundi and Rwanda was not far, far away from home as I was thinking as a child. Pretty soon, my whole family found refuge in Zaleka in Malawi. This is Zaleka, the refugee camp that is home now to thousands and thousands of uh, Congolese, Burundian and Rwandan. Because I can see everything. in 2008 when I was in this camp I had left in 2008 I had lost my dad and many other family members to war in the Democratic Republic of Congo as I arrived in Malawi I had hoped life will be better here but life conditions were far worse than anticipated a friend told me South Africa offered better living conditions and if you arrived there, life is much more better. I rushed to find my ways to South Africa, the country of Nelson Mandela. During my interview at the Department of Home Affairs, I was honest. I wanted to tell the truth and I was asked where did you pass before you get here. I was so open to tell them that I passed in the Zaleka refugee camp in Malawi. But that resulted in my application, my asylum application being rejected. It was as hard as living without purpose. Even a cell phone could not be bought under my name. I had to buy everything under somebody's name and that somebody will probably be a South African. In May 27, I had decided to cancel my asylum paper and return home. I have decided I'm going back home. I'm going back home to DRC. I'm done with South Africa. So yes, you guys, I just done. I submitted my application for the cancellation of uh, the asylum and yeah, I was told I must come tomorrow. So basically, they could not be able to cancel it directly. They had to email to another office, which is the appeal board. And then after that, he says he will take it to the immigration officers. Yeah, so that's the process to you guys. I will remember a lot about this place. Marava Stag. I got robbed here several times. I got beaten here several times by thugs. And these officers, I will never forget. <laughs> So yeah, let's drive you guys, let's drive from going back 
to Centurion where I live I will update you Right here at my embassy right now I'm here to collect my uh, travel documents Yeah, as you can see you guys, let me show you This is my embassy right here The embassy of the Democratic Republic of Congo When I'm here I feel really home I had gone back to DRC, my home, the Democratic yes, Republic guys, of I've Congo. Yes, guys, I've just docked in Goma. Just arrived in that ship over there. Emmanuel, I love traveling with Emmanuel. But home is never home when both your parents are no longer there and the last memory you had was living with your parents. My mother cried and asked me to be careful because before that I did not tell her of my intentions to go home because she had categorically refused me to go home because she had bad memories in the Democratic Republic of Congo, she accepted living in Malawi rather. I have lost your father in that country. I do not want to lose you, my son, she said. Four months later in the DRC, all the way from South Africa, I had gone to Kinshasa where I hope to live. Just wait, I'm at a place called uh, Cité du Fleuve Congo. The Congo River right here, the mighty Congo River. This river right here in this city of Kinshasa is just so amazing. As you guys can see over there. Memling. The hotel again. Memling Hotel. Is a, to, to what kind of a hotel it is? Is it famous? Yeah, so yeah. It's, a, it's a beautiful hotel. Closest capital cities in the world. But here I am in Zaleka once again. But this time around, I am not seeking refuge. I came here. So bury we my mother. Gonna pass through the graveyard. Rest in peace, Mama. Where I buried my mom two days ago. So yeah, this is where I buried my mother, you guys. My mother, for those who don't know, used to stay in that camp we're coming from Zaleka, and she passed away there. We tried to. You know, get papers even for medical attention. It's so hard to get out of this camp. I sometimes wonder if seeking refuge is the answer or it is just necessary to rather silence the guns. Human needs to be free in this free world. I would rather prefer the ones that seek fair trade cooperation than the ones that bring war and act as if they want to help coming with AIDS, filthy AIDS. All these refugees are promised new beginnings in Europe and in America, but in reality, only about under one percent of them are helped and the rest spend their days living as hard as just dying. The little hope that people being transported to Europe and America is amplified and many do not confront the lies as they do not see them. To me this is more of a propaganda to hate your country. People are brainwashed and cannot see the truth. I could not even convince my own siblings to return home after losing our mother here in the camp. These African refugee camps must be destroyed 
as they offer no help but lies. I'm on a mission. I want to change the narrative. I want to show my people in the camp that they rather come back home. We need to work as a collective, as citizens of this mother continent, Africa, to change the narrative and tell our people that nobody is going to help us but help ourselves. We need to know who are our real enemies. Rest in power, Africa. Oh, UNCR, sensor. They are busy controlling. They're doing sensor in the camp and I think it's kind of like checking if family members are all here. Checking who remained in the camp and who left. Just making sure people's status is in order. They are calling family by family. So this camp actually have uh, zones and each zone has got the leader. Basically when they want to do this censorship they advise the zone leader to tell his people that uh, they gonna come count them on which day and which day then they get prepared yeah guys we're just walking in the refugee camp here in Zaleka we are in Malawi a refugee with a very very big number of people we're gonna have to check out it's a bar. <laughs> it's a bar. Oh, some bars where you, you know, you are a bottle lover. You actually come there and have some drinks. Yeah. The studio Casa Pro Pro Studio wedding, birthday, passport, photo, engagement, what what. Mm -hmm. A lot of activities in the country, guys. Look at that. This street is just full of, I guess, restaurants and different things. Um, I even know this guy in Goya. Magazine. Uh, ah, now you have <laughs> This is my younger brother, you guys. This is our last boy. My mother's children. He's the last one. And we are eight. <laughs> So I'm the first and it's the last one. What a good combination walking you around. <laughs> But there is also a bigger, uh, I think it's the city, whether the third or second, called Blantyre. But this one is just a, a street, I guess. Zulu Saloon. Look at Zulu Saloon. The Zulu people, there is a Zulu Saloon in the, in the Malawi refugee camp here. Conseil <laughs> uh, shop. Wow. That is another beautiful saloon. Uncle Dennis Beauty Saloon. There's makeup shopping. Wow. Yeah, what's up, guys? What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your guy Imani Nigazi here in Zaleka. We are in Zaleka, and today is Tuesday. As I promised to walk you through 
the market in Zaleka. That's where we're gonna go right now and yeah, this is how it looks like. We should get soccer in Gambogan Tenaba. So there's vegetables market here. I guess we passed there the other time. We're gonna go through and pass through the bigger market right here in Zaleka. Zaleka is a refugee camp, you guys. It's a refugee camp here in Malawi. Not so far, actually about 20 kilometers away from the capital city of the country, Malawi. And here in this camp, there is refugees from DRC, Congo. There are refugees also from Rwanda and uh, refugees from Burundi. This is how it is. It's actually a bigger camp. It started really small and continued to expand and expand and expand. I'm trying to rush because it's so hot and the camera will probably get hot. Selling everything almost. Challenge <laughs> yeah that's a big market you guys this is the bigger market it gets full here only tuesday but it's also you know busy on other days but unlike uh, today tuesday it gets really 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 busier and right now from the main road that goes to doha we are going down in katuza the place called Katuza and, and this is a city or a town of Zaleka which is a refugee camp <laughs> Gari, Gari. Uh, it's a whole life going on here away from home these people are Africans I guess this video is going to be necessary for African diaspora, those who came from this refugee camp. I hope you guys are uh, having a little bit of uh, memory, remembering what you went through. I also want to appeal to African government officials, guys. This, this is so crazy. Why would you be a refugee in your own country? I always want to call Africa as a country because we are just one people. And as you can see from here, you can't determine you can't determine whether who is Burundi and who is Congolese you also can't tell who is Rwandan all of us are just the same uh, and that's how I always say Africans are the same Africa is one we just need to come together this is Saleka Zaleka, Zaleka, the refugee camp. Tashkiapa. Mm. It's supposed to be a children's play place, I okay. guess. See, this is the kind of life that people are living here in the camp.
the camp is uh, divided in zones <laughs> look at this dog i came across this dog some other time they tell me so old Ah, pegar a casa e a paleo.